Are you guys ready for the rubber match against Hendrix? Who's ready for this? Yo, ready for this? He wasn't ready for that. Oh, UFC Minute. Haven't done one of these in a while. I'm Megan Olivi, and this is your UFC Minute. We've seen some of the top fighters in the world go from relatively unknown to some of the biggest names in the sport. We have. There's a big difference between being a successful fighter in the UFC and being a star. But this fighter has clearly found the formula to be both. As several impressive wins in the octagon have seen him make his <laughs> the way Gerber the baby stabber, yes. And capture the imagination of fans eager to see him perform on the sport's biggest stage. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next yes. UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. All right, we're taking out Hendrix, the rubber match. Here we go. Can I do it? I hope so. It would be really lame if I lost it so this time. So here's the former UFC welterweight champion Johnny Hendricks, four-time All-American wrestler at Oklahoma State University. That is certainly his bread and butter, but it's that left hand, Joe, that has sent bodies flying across the canvas in his UFC career. And this is a man who realized the UFC welterweight title with a win over Robbie Lawler back at UFC 171 in 2014. Now at 185 pounds, no longer dealing with what was a devastating weight cut. We'll see if Johnny Hendricks can make a run here in a second division. Division. Johnny Hendricks might have the best knockout power the UFC's welterweight division has ever seen. His left hand bump. Fuck him. <laughs> Rubber match. Get hype. Get hype, folks. All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak. My hips are so strong. And your gas tank a physical freak. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's going to do. His striking is world-class. His ground game is excellent. And he mixes them up very well. Our tale of the tape. Here we go. Away fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. 41 years old. Let's do this. So here is Johnny Hendricks as we get going with round one. Has been more calculated, Joe, since moving up to the 185-pound division. Nobody's going to call this man conservative. We'll see how he chooses to attack, though, in the early going of this. Oh, he's mounted him. And he does not like this one bit. He's trapped here. And he's trapped here with a far superior grapple. All right. He's got the back mount here. He's going to flatten him out. Looking for the rear naked choke. Wants to slide that forearm under the chin to get the choke. Trying to work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck. Got me. Got out. Got out of the choke. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Gets into side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving. Constantly staying busy. Engaging in the clinch here once again. Tying up in the clinch here. Nice wow. Throw on the takedown attempt. Excellent judo. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. I'm going to go over under, over under. There we go. Now he's got over under. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Trying to get stamina he's back here. He's not really doing much here. Pretty good shot there. Got him. And busy as he looks to improve position here. There we go. He's landing some wicked elbows here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And now he is inside control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R 
And he's stamina. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Hendricks. Back to the sprawl. Trying to spin to the back. Inside control once again. Oh, elbow to the head. Excellent movement on the ground here. What's he doing? Trying to better his position. Now he's moved back in a full guard. Forking what? Got out already. No, nope, can't hold on to him. 30 seconds to go here. Should try to get stamina and they get more hits in. 15 seconds. Gets the elbow up into the target. He's really landing some very solid. Done. Destroy. Beautiful Very nice. Just as the round was ending. Wow, Joe Rogan. You know, we see fighters all the time. Owned. For the takedown late in the round, but you don't see that every day. The flush knockout just before the final horn. The referee wisely. Completely destroyed, dude. Fight. Completely Gorgeous destroyed. Technique and a great job to catch the other guy when maybe he was thinking about the end of the round. Now he doesn't see it. Instead, he's staring up at the. That's ball. how you end a rubber match, <laughs> ladies and gents. Angle. <clears throat> Very nice. Here we see it again. Completely demolished. Boom. Done and done. For this fighter here tonight, a massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter. Good stuff. You know, I feel redeemed now. After the first fight was a crippling loss because it was a tough fight. We get to the third round and he knocks me out randomly. The second fight, a tough fight where I win a decision. This fight, I destroy him because my stats are so much higher. I just run right over him, steamroll him. So that felt like redemption for me right there. Good stuff. <clears throat> All right. More fans gained. I got that cash, son. Give me that cash, son. <laughs> Very nice. All right, what, three more? No, two more matches and then the title fight, right? Yeah, everyone's saying, can't wait for the title fight. Look at that. Cool. All right, here we go. How do you see the fight with the champ playing out? <laughs> Ali said it best. I'm young, I'm pretty, and I can't possibly be beaten. All right, I'll say the nice, the nice thing. There you go. I'm the champ, but I'm gonna stay the champ. But let's put on a show for these fans. Wow, Michael Bisping's being nice. Can't wait for the fight night. There you go. Bisping actually having some respect. Very nice. All right, two fights left. Then Bisping. <laughs> Coverus did a cheers. The DSP calls out KSI while pointing at the WrestleMania sign. I don't even know who KSI is, and I really don't care. It seems like the only reason that the guy's pertinent is because he was in a boxing match. Never heard of him before then. <laughs> All right, we've got low hype and low hype. Well then, do I fight the guy with low hype or the guy with low hype? I guess I'll fight the guy with low hype. The. All right. So I still can't afford it. Nope. I would like to do either of these. This one I can't do because he's part of the gym. And I can't afford either one anyway. They're both over four hundred thousand. So, still sticking with this. All righty. Alrighty then. Whoa, go Brunel. Hashtag go Brunel. The main event. I'm on the main I'm actually the main event of the pay-per-view. Look at that. Even though it's low hype, I'm the main event of the pay-per-view. Wow. Low hype. 